Hi, I'm Christina and welcome to the start of another reading vlog. So this week I'm going to be reading one of my most anticipated releases, which is The Survivors by Jane Harper. I am really, really looking forward to reading this book. Jane Harper is one of my absolute favourite authors and this is going to be her fourth novel and so it's the fourth book I've read by her. The first one I read was called The Dry which is about a police detective called Aaron Folk and I really really enjoyed that one. I thought it was absolutely wonderful and I was definitely looking forward to anything else she'd written after that because I thought this is a really excellent book. And then the second book I read by her was called The Lost Man. And again, really, really liked that one. That was a mystery surrounding three brothers. One of the brothers had died in suspicious circumstances and she really explored the family dynamic of that one really, really well. Her characters are so, so well developed. She's so good at writing characters. I genuinely felt connected to every single one and I thought it was a really, really excellent book. It was one of my favourite books of 2020. thought it was wonderful. And then the third book I read by her was called The Force of Nature and that is the sequel to The Dry and it's also starring the police detective Aaron Folk and I enjoyed that one but not as much as the other two but I still enjoyed it. So really looking forward to this one. This one is set in Tasmania and all of the others are set in Australia, in the Australian outback. Now obviously Tasmania is still part of Australia but it's a whole new kind of setting which I'm really, really looking forward to. She is a very, very good writer in creating atmosphere. Her writing is incredibly atmospheric. And that is another one of my favourite things about her writing. She, it's just beautiful, beautiful writing. So this is going to be the first book I've ever read set in Tasmania. So I'm really looking forward to that. I think it's going to be a really nice kind of vibe for me to read about a setting that I've never read about before. So yeah, really, really looking forward to this one. Um, like I say, one of my favourite authors. She writes so, so well. And yeah, I just cannot wait to start reading this one. So yeah, that is what I'm going to be reading this week. So I haven't really been doing reading vlogs recently because I've been so, so busy just like in my personal life. So actually I have a bit of a life update. So at work I have recently been promoted and I'm so, so happy and so, so excited. And obviously in the evenings I've just not really wanted to read because I've been quite tired after work obviously staring at a screen all day anyway for like seven to eight hours is a lot but when you're learning new things and you're training on new things it's just it's a lot so in the evenings I've just kind of been watching tv instead I'm just kind of giving my eyes and my brain a bit of a break so I'm really really excited I have now done one week in my new job and yeah I think it's really exciting it's something I've been working towards for ages now so I'm really really chuffed about that Hi, I'm going to do a quick check-in on The Survivors. So I've read a decent chunk of this now and I'm really enjoying it so far. So it has a very large cast of characters. Our main character is called Kieran. He's about 30 years old and he has a girlfriend called Mia and they have a three-month-old baby called Audrey. So they currently live in Sydney, but they're coming back to his hometown and her hometown because his parents are moving house. Sadly, his dad has dementia and so they're going to be packing up the house and his dad's going to go into a residential care home and his mum's going to live in an apartment kind of nearby. So the idea is obviously coming back to the hometown, packing up the house, helping his parents move and obviously now they're back, they're both going to be seeing a lot of their kind of like school friends when they kind of grew up. So they didn't really know each other when they were children uh, living on the island. Um, he is four years older than her and they met um, in Sydney, kind of at a university kind of bar idea. 
so obviously they're seeing a lot of old faces a lot of old characters and we kind of get introduced to his friendship group and his friendship group is him and then someone called Ash and someone called Sean and we kind of hear about their kind of like respective like partners there's a girl called Olivia but the main kind of thing with them coming back here is that about 12 years ago something absolutely horrible happened a massive tragedy happened and there was this unprecedented storm and quite a few people died in this storm and obviously it's been a huge tragedy for the town and it's been a huge tragedy for our main characters too so both Mia and Kieran and Sean all lost someone who obviously they was very close to them and they loved very dearly so there's a lot of kind of grief and um, mourning and sadness and just kind of lots of unresolved questions as well about what happened on the day of the storm and basically everybody lost someone that they were close to so it has a lot of kind of deep set tragedy rooted in this. So in terms of the mystery, there's obviously a girl who has been found dead in the present and then in the past there was also a girl who disappeared on the day of the storm. Now the narrative of that was pretty much that it was another tragic accident, you know, she drowned in the storm, but her mother always thought there was more to it than that. She didn't think it was just a tragic accident, she thought that there was a person to blame, there was a person behind her daughter's disappearance. And now obviously in the present, another girl has been found dead, it's kind of raising some questions as could there be some truth to this obviously there's an age difference between the girls but they're found on the exact same beach and they're found in a very similar time of year so that's kind of where the mystery is going which is really really interesting and really liking it and I do think she writes characters really really well if you're looking for kind of a plot driven story I don't think this one is really going to be the one for you it's definitely more character driven she really delves deep into her characters and again it is happening in this one you kind of see the friendship group between like Kieran and his old school friends and they're the kind of people who haven't really stayed in touch over the years you just the odd like text message here and there but they can kind of pick up where they started now they're all together and you're kind of looking at you know a little bit of romantic relationships between people you know the family relationship between Kieran and um, his parents and obviously because there is a lot of kind of grief and unresolved trauma in this book she really kind of digs into that too and yeah I'm, I'm really liking it I'm thinking it is really very very readable so I am just going to go and finish this book now and I have read this so so quickly I think I will have read this over three days basically and it's just because it's a very readable book I'm just finding it so easy to just keep reading it so I'm going to finish it and then I'll let you know my final thoughts So I have finished The Survivors and I really, I really enjoyed this one. I'm going to give it four stars. I have to say I don't like it as much as The Lost Man. There was something about The Lost Man that just really, really hit hard for me, hit home. It was I had a much more kind of emotional connection with this book in comparison to this one. But I still really, really liked it. Um, I think my ranking of the Jane Harper books now will go number one, The Lost Man number two the dry number three this one the survivors and then number four force of nature but i still i still really enjoyed it it's a definite four star book for me and i, I obviously can't comment on the plot or the mystery at all because i don't want to spoil anything for you um it what it didn't go where i expected that's all i will say about the mystery i had some ideas as to who the person was who'd hurt the girl 
in the present day and she's really really good at writing in red herrings and putting in lots of different clues for you to kind of like figure out who do you think's done it and I absolutely did not think who it was it was I didn't get that at all so when that kind of reveal happened I was like oh that's that's good that's interesting I definitely did not pick that person out so that was good and the exact same thing happened in The Lost Man for me when we were trying to find out who the person was I was reading it I had lots of different ideas lots of different theories about who it was and when I actually found out who it was in those last few pages I was like yeah I, I did not get that but it's a really good it's a really good one and um, so yeah I thought that was excellent I think if you can read a mystery and you can't tell who's done it that's the sign of a really well written mystery in my in my eyes so i thought that was really really great if you have read this book definitely know definitely let me know what you thought of it down in the comments love to chat to you about it i think yes it was one of my most anticipated releases and i think yeah it's lived up to the hype for me it is it's really good and i'm definitely looking forward to whatever she writes next really like the setting in Tasmania I thought that was great really enjoyed that and um, like I say don't think I had as much of an emotional connection to these characters as the characters in The Lost Man but still still really really liked it and yeah I think it's really good I definitely recommend you read it if you like slow paced mysteries and just kind of beautifully written characters and just kind of a character study of a family and a group of friends I think that's where she really really excels and yeah but it was really good so i definitely recommend it so thank you so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye